Hello everyone. We will continue that topic call screen and leave to screen. And in the previous video, we understood the concept from the theory perspective. Now we will see the practical for the same so that the picture will be clear in the mind. Suppose what I will do. We have two screens, 100 screen, 200 screen. I will put a break point in 100 screen PBO process before output, 100 screen PAI, sorry, 100 screen PAI, Now I will go to 200 screen. I will put a break point in PBO of 200. Then I will put a break point in PAI of 200. Now I will run the program. I will execute this module pool program. And 100 will be the first screen which will appear. I'm running the program. Whenever I will run the program, firstly, 100 screen PBO will call. You all know PBO will call always, always before displaying a particular screen. Now I'm executing. Now here itself, you will get the first clarity. So 100 screen PBO call. This is 100 screen PBO. Now, how you can check the stack stack? Go to desktop 2. Go to desktop 2. Whenever you will go to desktop 2, you can check the stack here itself. It is clearly mentioned. A back and screen stack. So have you seen? 100 screen is added to the stack because as of now we have its screen, 100 screen. So now 100 screen is in the stack. I'm going to execute. Now my 100 screen appeared. I'm going for order number one. Whenever I will click on to submit button, firstly, PAI process after input of 100 screen will call because we are performing some action on the screen. 100 screen PAI call. This is 100 screen PAI. This is PAI. SciUCOM is display. It will fetch data. Yes. And we will get the output. Now, whenever we perform action Firstly, 100 screen PAI called. Now, 100 screen will display. It means 100 screen PBO will also call. It's a golden rule, golden rule. Before displaying a particular screen, PBO will always, always call, always. Now, we simply, simply give the input. We simply give the input and click on to submit button. It means same to same screen will appear. Same to same screen will appear. So on submit button, yes, you perform action. Then PAI called. Now 100 screen will appear again. So 100 screen PBO will call. Yes. Now you can see in the stack, we have 100 screen as of now because currently we are on 100 screen. Now this is up to this level. Now whenever I will click on to this button, now I want to go to screen 200. So whenever I will click on to this button, yes, 100 screen PAI will call PAI because we are performing some action on the screen. Now I will click on to this button. Now this is your 100 screen PAI, PAI. 
Now, what is the value of psi u com? Psi u com is hadden. Psi u com is not display. It means this if condition is false. Now control will come on to this condition. Now it is our psi u com. Psi u com is what hadden. Now it will simply simply call which particular screen two hundred from the hundred screen. We are calling screen two hundred now, so hundred will be calling screen. Two hundred will be called screen, and you are using which statement? Call screen two hundred. It means two hundred screen will add to the stack stack. It will not replace the screen hundred. Just see this if condition true, it will call the screen. 200 now 200 screen pbo will call because we want to display 200 screen now have you seen on top of 100 200 is added so this is now real real clarity whenever you are calling through call screen statement the screen will be added to the stack added to the stack so 200 screen is added to the stack now we have the 200 screen now i will click on to this button whenever i will click on to this button which event will call process after input of 200 because we are performing action on 200 screen i am clicking so now 200 screen p a i called p a i Just see, as of now, in the stack, how many screens are there? Firstly, hundred, then two hundred. Now you are calling screen hundred through which syntax? Call screen hundred. It means again hundred will add to the stack. It will not replace two hundred because we are calling through call screen statement. Now whenever it will call the screen 100 yes it is calling screen 100 now pbo of 100 will call because now we want to display 100 screen have you seen 100 200 100 so 100 is added to the stack it is not replacing the previous stack screen now pbo of 100 called and now we have this pbo of 100 screen and now we have this 100 screen suppose i am again going whenever i will click on to this button now we have 100 200 100 now psi u com psi u com is your header so it will simply simply go to this condition again we are calling screen 200 Through which statement call screen? So currently we have hundred, two hundred, hundred. Now again hundred, again two hundred will add to the stack. So simply screens are adding to the stack because you are using which particular statement call screen screen number. Now we'll go for simple simple code changes in the program. now rather than call screen i will go for leave to screen and you will get a full 100% clarity now rather than call screen i will write leave to screen i am writing leave to screen 200 i will activate the code extremely important concept and we cannot avoid this concept because every interview has this question here i will write leave to screen now i will activate now i will put a break point at both the places and you will get 100% again clarity 
how how this particular thing is triggering. Now I'm running the program again. Firstly, hundred screen PBO will call. So hundred screen PBO called and just see in the stack we have hundred screen. I'm giving some input. I will click on to submit button. Hundred screen P A I will call. Sci UCOM is display. Yes. Sci UCOM is display. This if condition is true, it fetched data. Now hundred screen is displaying as of now. We are not going for two hundred screen. So hundred screen PBO will call because it has to display hundred screen. So now hundred screen PBO called, and you can see in the stack we have only one screen as of now. That is hundred. Now I am clicking on to this button. Whenever I will click on to this button, which event will call PAI of hundred. P A I of hundred called now. What is Sci U Com? Sci U Com is header now header. So it will simply simply come to which condition? This if condition is true. Now you can see we are calling screen two hundred by using which syntax? Leave to screen two hundred. Now we are not going for call screen. We are going for leave to screen. Just see, as of now, in the stack we have which screen hundred screen. Now I will simply go. Now have you seen hundred is simply replaced by what two hundred? Hundred is nowhere in the stack because whenever you are going for leave to screen screen number. It will replace the last stack screen. Now this is PBO of two hundred because whenever you want to display a screen, PBO of that screen will call. Done. Now I'm clicking on to this button. As of now, in the stack we have two hundred screen number, two hundred screen. Now from the two hundred, we are calling hundred. By using which syntax? Leave to screen. It means this hundred will replace two hundred because it will replace the last stack the screen. So it is calling hundred. This is PBO of hundred. And have you seen in the stack two hundred is not there. Hundred is there. Hundred is there. Now this is the. So this is a full, full explanation in the debugging mode. Extremely, extremely important concept. Simple understanding. Whenever you are calling a screen using call screen screen number, it the new screen or whatever the specified screen you are calling, it will add. It will add to the stack. But whenever you are calling a screen by using leave to screen screen number, it will replace the last stack screen. And remember two golden things: the screen which is calling the other screen is called as calling screen, and the from where we are calling another screen, yes, from where we are calling another screen, it is called as calling calling. And the screen which is called is called as called screen calls. So that's it in this particular.